The second one is, of course, formation evaluation, log analysis. So we have log analysis like this one. Uh, first thing first, formation evaluation is the responsibility of our friends, petrophysicists and geologists, not uh, as a reservoir engineer. Okay, so this is the main responsibility of petrophysicists, but as a reservoir engineer, we need to understand. So we can talk with our petrophysicists, we can discuss with them, and from that discussion, we can know the reservoir better. So yes, we still need to understand formation evaluation, but not as deep as our friends petrophysicists. Okay, so from formation evaluation, our main tool is lock. Okay, lock from various types of locks, like this one, we have caliper to know the whole size and the whole condition, gamma ray lock to know the lithology, whether we have shale or non-shale, maybe sand or maybe limestone, spontaneous potential to distinguish uh, permeable layer from non-permeable layer, and then resistivity lock to know the water saturation and to know the oil zone or gas zone or the water zone, density lock to know the porosity, the density itself, and the fluid type within the reservoir, the neutron lock to get the porosity also, and the fluid type as well. So we usually combine density lock and neutron lock for our analysis, and sonic for porosity analysis and geomechanical analysis. We get this information from our lock analysis, lock measurement, and we then analyze the property of our reservoir, the porosity, the permeability, the lithology, and then the fluid type, whether we have oil, gas, or water. And then, of course, we need to complete our reservoir, our well, in the zone that we want to produce from, maybe from the oil zone, or maybe from the gas zone, or sometimes we produce from the water zone. Okay. The measurement that give us the information, yes, this is an oil, an oil zone, yes, this is a gas zone, or yes, this is a water zone, is, of course, the formation evaluation or from log analysis. Like this one, we usually get this kind of log, but of course, the, the real log, the actual log, is far more complicated, far more busy than this one. Okay? But... Using this one, it's a good start for us to learn about log analysis. So if you have high gamma ray here, it means do you, you have high radioactivity, which basically give us information that it is a shale zone, like this one. And then you have low gamma ray, it means this is a sand zone or maybe permeable zone, okay? And then shale again. And then low resistivity means you have water usually, that's why, or maybe shell, and we analyze this to be a water zone, a brine zone. But in this depth, in this interval, we have high resistivity, which give us information, maybe we have oil or gas there. So resistivity already provides us a good indication of hydrocarbon, but that's not enough. We need to know where the gas is and where the oil is, okay? And we need to know that using this one, porosity lock and density lock. I mean, neutron lock and density lock. Using the combination of those two locks, we now know that the upper zone is a gas zone. Maybe this is a gas cap. And the lower zone is an oil zone. And of course, we want to complete our well on the oil zone usually. Okay, so we will then lower down our perforation. Okay, perforation and start perforation there. So we, we create a hole, and then from that, using those, those holes, we produce the oil to the surface, okay? So the main information comes from lock, okay? And of course, by plotting all a lot of locks like this one along our reservoir, we can get this one. Well correlation, or reservoir correlation. From here, we can understand the reservoir connectivity, okay, throughout the reservoir, across the reservoir. So like this one using 
this plot or using this information, using this correlation, I know that I have two zones, this one, zone A, and the lower zone, zone B. Okay, so maybe if you find oil here, you basically maybe also will find oil here and maybe oil here, all right? So usually oil is located lower than the gas. So if you find oil here, maybe you will get gas here, okay? So this kind of analysis we do with the petrophysis and with the geologists, but it is very, very interesting, okay? Formation evaluation the second analysis. And the third analysis we need to know, and we do every day as a software engineer, is productivity and deliverability analysis. 